Liverpool captain Paul Ince was fit to take his place at Stamford Bridge three days after being punched in the face by a hooligan at Wembley, an attack that's prompted a security review by the Football Association. There was nothing too secure about the Liverpool defence. Chelsea would go above them into third with a win. Gianfranco Zola went desperately close in the first three minutes. The avalanche of home attacks continued. In the 11th minute, Brad Friedel was beaten. Mark Hughes dispatching Steve Clark's cross. The downside to Chelsea's afternoon was Zola's early departure with a groin injury. Collected making another goal attempt. Zola was taken off immediately and could now miss the highlight of Chelsea's season, the Cup Winners' Cup final against Stuttgart in Stockholm in three weeks. Liverpool missing Robbie Fowler and Michael Owen did edge back into it. When Danny Murphy's shot fell to Karl-Heinz Riedler, they were level just before half-time. Dennis Wires and coach Gianluca Vialli were the only major absentees from Chelsea's side, so much hungrier than their opponents. And Clark's goal, his first in six years, triggered a one-sided finish to the match that enraged the Liverpool manager Roy Evans. He accused his team of caving in not for the first time and has now threatened to sell some of them in the summer. Tora Andre Flo broke clear to nudge in a third for Chelsea. And then came the touch of a master as Hughes, who began Chelsea's afternoon's work, crowned it with a typical flourish. 4-1 to Chelsea, so in control, no wonder Roy Evans was embarrassed. 